How many threads does it take to make a story? Well, that has nothing to do with anything. And as a matter of fact, when you watch this video, you'll probably realize that was a pretty bad joke, but. So if you've hung around me and this channel for any length of time, you understand that I love storytelling. And I, and I really believe that it's one of the best ways to create connection with people, not only by telling stories, but using storytelling as the framework for your communication. Now, I was on Threads the other day. If you have never heard of Threads, Threads is a new Twitter-like or X-like, I don't know. It's just Instagram's response to that, the bird app, yeah. So I was on Threads the other day and I was just wandering through some of the different threads and I came across this real estate company that I thought was super interesting and I wanted to share them with you. And the reason that they were interesting was because they were not just showing houses, but they were doing something that was very storytelling friendly. I wanted to share it with you. If you're a real estate agent and you're looking to get on social media and you're wondering how you can be more interesting and how you can connect and engage more. So I wanted to share with you who they are. The real estate company is the Nava Realty Group out of, out of Texas. I haven't even told them I'm doing this, but I probably will by the time we post this. Anyway, Anyway, so I just want to bring up what they've been doing. Here's one of their posts that got my attention. So they've got this house and they ask the question, who's the first person you're inviting over if you lived here? Now, here is why that is so good. You see the house and you're immediately drawn in saying, whoa, that's a beautiful house. But they don't just focus your attention on the house. They now bring it back to who are you inviting over? over. So now your mind begins to flip through your friend group. You begin to flip through all of the people in your space and maybe even the people that you wish to know. And what they've essentially done is created connection by starting an internal video in your brain that is not just focused on the property or the product itself, but now you're starting to see yourself and your possible experiences in that property. You're imagining dinner. You're imagining a game night. You're imagining video games. You're imagining a barbecue or a cookout. You're imagining a lot of different things. Here's another post that they did and the caption says, what meal are you cooking first in this kitchen? You're looking at the kitchen. You're like, whoa, that's a beautiful kitchen. But the question is, what meal are you cooking? And now your mind starts to think, am I cooking chicken? Is it vegan? Is it hummus? I don't know. Do you cook hummus? The point is you're beginning to think about a lot of different things, again, playing a video in your brain. Here's another one that they did and the caption is simple. It says, welcome to Frisco, Texas. And that's not necessarily inviting, but I love what they did here. If I click on the video, this video says, imagine waking up in your dream home in Texas. I love that word imagine because it's almost like this command that engages your mind, it engages your brain. It prompts you to begin thinking about what it would be like to be in that actual space. You begin to imagine yourself sitting on those chairs at the counter, walking down those stairs. It's a fantastic word. One of my favorite prompt words at the beginning of any speech talk, or in this case, even a video. Here's another one where they ask, what's the first word that comes out of your mouth as soon as you walk in? Wow, I absolutely love the approach of asking questions because it's not just about the video. It's not just about the image and the picture. It's about what you can create, what experience they're beginning to prompt inside of you. Because see, here's how our minds work. When questions are asked, we can't help but answer them. One of the best ways to connect with people is to allow their brains to sift through experiences. What experience have I had? What experience don't I want to have? What experience have I not had yet that I want to have? I think this company, Nava Realty Group, has done a fantastic job of using using storytelling to help you create a picture, a video in your brain on top of the fantastic video footage that they've shared. Now, one of the questions that I continue to get as I talk about video storytelling is, Robert, do I have to show up on the video? If you're doing social media, the answer is not always. But what this company has done is shown a fantastic example of how to connect with your audience and your prospect by engaging their mind and their imagination even without using faces, but by using principles of storytelling, like asking a question. Asking a question 
engages with a conflict or an opportunity immediately. For more video storytelling tips just like these, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you can get notified when I go live or share new videos. Peace, peace. Get on out there and tell more stories.